Let's talk about most people's goals in life. It is to become rich and gain financial freedom. I mean, everyone wants to be able to afford the things that they want in life, not stick to the things that are available because they don't have the financial capability to do so. So, not everyone who has the money dream eventually gets it because they don't know how to get the money to work for them. Instead, they spend their entire life working for the money. Idowu Koyenikon, an organizational consultant and author, said, The more your money works for you, the less you have to work for money. He also once said, Money is always eager and ready to work for anyone ready to employ it. So, the question we should be answering now is, how to get money to work for us? Well, it's pretty much easy to do when we make the right choices. So, in this video, I'll share with you 5 money choices to make in your 20s that can make you rich. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. It's all about investment. I'm pretty sure by now you've heard it over a thousand times that it is crucial to build a saving habit, learn how to save, pay yourself first, etc. are all terms people use to teach us about the importance of saving. Well, the question we should be asking ourselves is, why should we save money? Okay, I'll tell you. You need to save money to invest. Investment is one vital way to make money work for you. According to Idowu Koyenikon, when money realizes that it is in good hands, it wants to stay and multiply in those hands, Graham Young, an American religious leader and politician, said, If you wish to get rich, save what you get. A fool can earn money, but it takes a wise man to save and dispose of it to his advantage. So, if you genuinely want to be rich, it'd help to learn how to save money for investment. T. Harv Eker, the author of Secret of the Millionaire Mind, said, Rich people play the money game to win. Poor people play the money game not to lose. Grant Cardone said, who went from broke and in debt at age 21 to a self-made millionaire by 30, said, The only reason to save money is to invest it. Put your saved money into secured, sacred, untouchable accounts. Never use this account for anything, not even an emergency. This will force you to continue to follow step one, increase income. To this day, at least twice a year, I am broke because I always invest my surpluses into ventures I cannot access. Okay, here's something you need to understand about investment. It's not how much money you make that matters, but how much money you keep. For instance, imagine Bright, who makes $250,000 per year, saves $5,000 per year, and second, Jane, who makes $80,000 per year, and saves $20,000 per year. Which of both parties is likely to get rich and meet their financial goals in a good time? Of course, Jane will. So, it's not just about increasing your earning potential, but learning what to keep, what is right, and investing it. 2. Spend your money acquiring more assets than liability. Do you know the difference between assets and liability? Assets are products or commodities that increase your cash flow, while liabilities lead to more expenses. For instance, a house or car can be both an asset or a liability to the owner. It depends on how you put the property to use. For instance, if the cost of staying in your house takes money from you every month, then it's a liability. However, if it brings in more money monthly, whether as a result of renting out the property or losing it out, then it is an asset. In other words, if you buy a house as a primary residence, not as a rental property, it is a liability. But if you buy it for rental purposes, then it becomes an asset. Okay, let's break that down properly. On a given month for your residence, you need to pay your mortgage, utilities, maintenance, taxes, insurance, and possibly more. Sometimes, this can turn out to be huge costs, for instance, if you need to replace a roof or your main plumbing line collapses, all of these things can take money out of your pocket, which means that it is a liability. Acquiring more assets than liabilities is one of the straightforward ways to be rich. To do that, however, you need to understand how products fit into each category. Also, investing in assets is a good way to increase your income streams. 3. Have a plan for the worst-case scenario. Preparing for a worst-case scenario means creating an emergency account, an emergency fund is an account where you run to for financial aid or assistance when an unexpected event takes place. Have you ever considered what will happen when dealing with a broken down vehicle or a sudden health issue? How will you deal with it? Which part of your budget covers up for that? A 2018 report from the US Federal Reserve showed that 40% of Americans don't have $400 to cover an emergency expense. With this statistic in mind, it's no wonder so many people fall behind on bills or rack up credit card debt when they lose their job, face a loss in income, or become gravely ill. If you genuinely want to be rich, you need to be prepared for whatever what-ifs that life brings to you. The way to do that is to save in advance for it. Create an emergency fund. 
Most experts suggest keeping at least three to six months of income in an emergency savings account. But even a few thousand dollars is better than nothing. Start by saving some extra money monthly and ensure that you open a separate account from your regular check or savings account so that you won't get tempted to spend the money. Also, make sure your funds earn interest so they will grow on their own as you continue adding money. 4. Surround yourself with financially smart people. A 2016 study in the Journal of Retailing and Consumer Services found that self-described financially disciplined college students were more likely to spend money when they spend time shopping or dining out with friends with more carefree spending habits. The truth about being in your early 20s, you won't have very much extra income to save or invest, which means out of what you do have, you want to put it to good use. And if you hang around people who blow their money, chances are you will too. Instead, seek out people who are prudent with their money so that you can learn the good habits of saving and making wise investment choices. 5. Get a mentor. I'll tell you one of the fastest ways to get to your desired destination. Get someone who has been there to lead you. That way, you'll avoid the mistakes they made and overcome the obstacles that they did easily. One such person is a mentor. Mentors are people who have journeyed the path you're about to take, so they know the best route to help you get to your destination faster while minimizing errors. The truth is that no matter what you want to do, someone out there has probably already done it, or at least part of it. So, finding such a person and getting them to advise you will be an advantage for you. Having an experienced mentor on your side will be invaluable. Finally, remember that your finances and financial challenges will keep changing. So, to remain on top of your goals, it would help to continuously invest in your self-growth. Read and learn more about managing your finances from time to time. Listen to podcasts, audiobooks and other valuable materials so that they can give you the tools to make decisions that will keep you financially happy for the long haul. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.